Another of the great agents of extinction came with the evolution of the Earth itself. Since life began, continental drift and fragmentation have brought brutal changes in all land and marine ecosystems. The movement of the tectonic plates changed currents, winds, river courses. It changed the land relief, the coasts, the islands. The structure of the world was radically altered. With the movement of the continental masses, the seas changed, affecting the climate throughout the planet. 60 million years ago, the supercontinent Gondwana broke apart, giving rise to new powerful oceans. Australia became an independent island and began its slow drift northwards. The marine currents changed their titanic flow, surrounding the southernmost continent with cold waters. And the Antarctic froze over. Tectonic movements and the climatic repercussions they bring with them have been responsible for the disappearance of many species. In fact, the first great extinction 440 million years ago was due to the southward drift of the supercontinent Gondwana, which gave rise to a prolonged ice age in which around 75% of all the species on the planet were wiped out. Global changes in temperature generated glaciers or created deserts. They were the direct cause of all the massive extinctions, even the great extinction of the primary era, when around 96% of all living species became extinct. It was the climatic changes, yes, but in the majority of cases caused by a known enemy that came from space. Life is an ever-changing, cruel process which cares nothing for individuals or species, only the continuity of life itself. Each one of the great extinctions was followed by a new beginning, new eras of biological experimentation in which life tested out its prototypes learning from its mistakes in an endless mutation. Everything would seem to indicate that these mortalities on a massive scale are vital for evolution, the process which we are now only beginning to understand that has diversified life, making it increasingly more complex and specialized. In the course of millions of years, life has constantly gone back to the drawing board and it is still doing so right now. But contrary to what it might at first seem, scientists are discovering that the survivors of these processes of massive extinctions are not necessarily the best prepared, but rather the luckiest. And that makes life and its evolution a worrying game of chance. Since the time we have information from the fossil record, and probably since the origin of the world, the species have not stopped changing as the planet and its habitats were modified. We could in fact say that every so often, a new world was created. Global changes, whether they be caused by the creation and drift of the continents, 
the impact of asteroids, or the chemical alterations generated by the metabolism of millions and millions of tiny photosynthetic beings have made it necessary to rethink life on Earth dozens of times. New worlds and new inhabitants. That has been the general rule in the continents for 800 million years. A rule that has left by the wayside millions of species that were once as real and flourishing on our planet as we human beings are now. It doesn't matter how powerful or dominant a species was. The more specialized, the more dependent it was on the stability of its environment. But on Earth, nothing remained stable for very long. The response to new challenges gave rise to evolution. From a single cell being to a vertebrate, from a fish with scales to a dinosaur with feathers and from this to a bird. The world has never stopped changing, but life has always managed to adapt. Constant renewal which demands a very high price. <laughs> 